Hey everyone! Recently a student in one of my courses on Cypress plugins asked how would I write this test better. This test uses XPath plugin and Cypress map and I wrote both plugins. I definitely do not recommend using Cypress XPath because look at this. What does it do? It's impossible to understand, it's impossible to maintain. But even aside from this, the user does the same kind of lookup twice and what we see printed in the first time is just the first row. And then we do it again and we see a lot more. And this table is actually dynamic and it has lots of rows. And it's dynamic in the sense that the data is loaded and it's also a virtual table. Because it doesn't have all the rows in the HTML right away because there's like so many of them but you only see a few rows at a time. So AG grid table plugin or grid plugin only keep some of the rows in the table. Other rows are inserted as needed and removed as needed. So if I scroll, the new rows are added at the bottom and the old rows are removed to keep the table manageable and small in a browser window. So let's rewrite this test in a better way. The first thing I usually do, I move the base URL either into config or if I cannot move it into config, object then at least we can set it right here so that Cypress knows which URL we're about to uh, visit. Okay, I really don't like you know kind of going to where we don't know where we wound up. So we want to maybe first of all see more vertically and also go to default usage, right? Um, so in this case I'm gonna set in addition to the base URL viewport height of let's say 2000 and instead of scrolling like this we can say contains text default usage scroll in view now let's uh, we can add an assertion should be visible what what I, how does it say default usage is visible if if it doesn't actually show it i think this page is using some tricks to put things into the DOM, but not quite. Okay, never mind. Let's just scroll this table into the view. The markup for the table. Okay, so there is layout V card. Okay, something about AG, role presentation, and then. Okay, so we see tree grid. So this table is an element with role tree grid. Okay. We can take this and we can say get all elements with attribute tree grid and let's say first should be visible and scroll into view. And for now, let's just return. Let's not run those X paths because they're bad. All right. So we have a first table scrolled, but notice the top of a table is a little bit behind. So what we want to do when we say scroll, we want to give it an offset. So we can say left zero, we, left is fine. And the top should be, let's say minus 200 pixels. So it doesn't scroll the table behind this fixed navigation header. Okay, so now we can clearly see the table and we wanna get the rows. Okay, so right now instead of this weird X path, we'll say find and well, how does the grid render tables? So let's look at the row. We can see row equals row. Okay. Find row row. And now we need to add an assertion. Should have length, let's say above, I don't know, five. Okay, so we got 17 rows. Now you can see the virtual table, right? So on, you see only some rows, others are behind the overflow. Okay. So instead of thousands of rows, only 17 elements. And now let's find, let's say the first column, right? We want to confirm the first name. So what we can do right here, this has role grid cell. Okay. Find role grid cell. And maybe let's take the first column only and child right with index one because the index for nth child starts with one 
Okay, got the first row and 16 children, perfect. And let's map them to inner text using Cypress map. Let's print and maybe use from Cypress map at zero to get the first one. And we'll say should equal Michael Phelps. All right, first container, got the rows, got first column values, mapped them to text all the names and the first one is Michael Phelps. Perfect. So this is how I would write this test. I would not use XPath. I think it doesn't make any sense. Instead, we want to get the attribute that the user can use to get the elements. We want to be able to see the elements and when we scroll, make sure we still see it. And then we can use CSS and jQuery selectors as well, like nth child. And then we can apply Cypress map commands to retry you know, a whole chain of queries to make sure the assertion passes, even if the text, for example, loads dynamically after a delay. For more examples like this, look at my Cypress courses, look at my Cypress example side too.